Hey everybody, Jeff Davis here, and today's video is about anxiety. Anxiety. This is something that I've struggled with throughout my life, and others have as well. Perhaps you can relate. Now there are of course straightforward tips that you can implement, like reflecting in a journal, meditating, talking with friends and family. This video is about a deep dive in the process that goes on in your psyche, in your mind, your heart, your soul, as you're having anxiety. The first step I recommend to you is to acknowledge it. Acknowledge that your anxiety is there. It's very easy to ignore it, to sweep it under the rug, but acknowledge it because once you do that, the next step is to embrace it. Give yourself the space to feel. Embrace your anxiety. Feel what you're feeling and uncover the need underneath the anxiety because whenever you have anxiety, there's a need underneath it. And you can then use your anxiety as a tool that actually helps you. So instead of fighting and fearing your anxiety, you acknowledge and embrace it. And instead of having it be something that becomes worse and worse and worse and builds up, you can actually slow down, calm down, and give yourself space to feel these feelings. Because once you've acknowledged and embraced your anxiety, you can then, mo then move into the third step, which is to surrender. Surrender is something that I've been practicing lately more to not force things when appropriate and to surrender to what you're feeling Surrender to the moment really quick example here. I've started working a wonderful contract opportunity with a multi-billion euro multinational company with European headquarters here in the Netherlands and just this past week I'm two weeks this upcoming week will be my third week with this company doing a wonderful contract. Just this past week, I had a very difficult challenge come up. And I didn't know the answer, and I was getting to the end of the day, and then I was working late, and I still didn't come across the answer. And then I caught myself, I caught myself in the midst of some of this anxiety, and I thought, wait, what I need is to slow down. So I went and watched a movie, and I kid you not, this just happened a few days ago, as I was watching the movie, the answer to the challenge spontaneously and intuitively popped into my mind. I'm like, no way, is that really it? The next morning I applied what came to me while watching the movie and it worked. My friends, this isn't cheesy motivation. This is science. This is science. When you acknowledge, embrace, and surrender, and then use your anxiety as a signpost, as a springboard to give yourself what you need, you will more quickly get to the solution. That's a catch 22, and I'm as guilty of this as anyone. When we're having anxiety, we want to rush, we want to speed up, we want to get to the answer, but we're squeezing harder and preventing ourselves from finding the very solution that we need. But if you slow down, face your feelings through that process I taught you, give yourself what you need, using that, as a, that anxiety as a signpost, I promise you, through science-based techniques and many case studies, you're going to perform better. You're going to have better relationships. You're going to have increased success at work. You're going to find solutions more easily through this process. 